Hi folks, the Uniformed Historian here, joining you from Buffington Island Battlefield State Park in Ohio. I told you I'd be doing a little bit of traveling today, and here we are at Buffington Island. So, a little bit of background information to make you understand how we get to this place. The Confederate Army needed to get the upper hand in the Western theater of the Civil War out in Kentucky and Tennessee and such, so they pick Brigadier General John Hunt Morgan to distract some Union resources. In June of 1863, John Hunt Morgan departs the Western Theater with approximately 1,700 of his own hand-picked men. And what they do is they find their way, fast-forwarding a little bit of the story, on the night of July the 18th of 1863. They find their way to Middleport, Ohio, where they attempt to cross the river to get safely back into Virginia. The ford there is blocked by Unionists, and they're not able to get across, so General Morgan decides they're going to rest for the night. The following foggy morning of July the 19th, they find their way to Buffington Island, Ohio. Now, the fight that occurs here is a complete rout of the Confederate forces, and that rout was assisted, interestingly enough, by naval boats on the river. And you don't normally think about Navy battles happening so far inland, but yes, there were indeed three Navy boats that assisted in the rout of General Morgan's army. In the end, there were about 55 Union casualties, wounded and killed, but the Confederates had about half of their force captured and taken prisoners of war, shipped up the river to Cincinnati, Ohio. However, General Morgan was not among them. He actually escaped with about 700 of his men, approximately half of his force, and the great raid of John Hunt Morgan would end approximately two weeks later on July the 26th with the surrender of Salienville. However, General Morgan was not done. He escapes captivity and finds his way back to Kentucky in the Western Theater after this is all said and done. Now, personal plug for me as a historian and my ancestry, Sons of Union Veterans Medal, which I've told you about, my ancestors were here. However, they were not part of the active engagement. They were actually stationed across the river about a five mile line, if you'll imagine, to make sure that John Hunt Morgan's men did not try to cross back into the river overnight. They were tasked with handling all of the prisoners that were taken here and loading them onto the boat and sending them back up the river. So that's what my personal family did in the 13th West Virginia that contributed to the defeat of General Morgan at this place in Ohio. I want to thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this inspires you to read some more about the battle. I know I kind of glossed over some things, but the idea is not to tell the entire story. It's simply to light the sparks that'll light the flame. Thank you very much, and God bless my friends.